human? I'm Beck Flatley and you're watching So in the first episode of Human Talk, I didn't explain what it was because I didn't know what it was. And now I kind of have an idea, so maybe I'll tell you and it'll probably change anyway. I want this show to showcase the conversations that nobody's having that we need to be fucking having. Forget all the political correctness, the suing, the this, the fucking that. Let's talk like human, communicate, and get bigger shit done. Do you realize how much cooler shit we could be doing? Like exploring other universes or dimensions? But we're sitting here spending so much time and energy talking about trying to control if a man can marry another man? Or like in parts of the world people are getting killed because they wanted to marry a Christian? Like what the fuck? Seriously, anybody with a fucking ounce of common sense should see how asinine that sounds. If you take any religion, there's gonna be an afterlife, right? Once your body dies here, your energy is transferred elsewhere, correct? Even if you're an atheist and you believe that you don't go anywhere. You believe in the properties of physics, so energy has to be transferred into something else. The body's absorbed into the earth, which generates nutrients, everything's circle of life, blah, blah, blah. So that means your soul or your energy, whatever you call it, is a separate entity from your physical body, which means you are not this thing that you live in. What happened was, you're some force of energy, you got inside of this thing, and you can make it work. Did you ever see Avatar and the guy gets in that big machine? He's like your soul, and then the big machine guy's like the fucking body, right? So wouldn't it be ridiculous if all the red Avatar robots started discriminating against the blue Avatar robots because of the color of their paint? Or that it has a different routing system for waste? And furthermore, how stupid would it be if two of these robots couldn't get together if the people inside of them really dug each other. I'm sorry, but those are two male robot models. You can't, you can't love that person. So let's say you hate gay people, can't stand them. You get some new neighbors that move in. Two successful, nice gay women, they have a couple kids, and you don't want them on your street gay and shit up. So you'll probably start to make their lives miserable and try to get them to move out, right? But what you're failing to do is to mind your own fucking business. Okay, instead of thinking what they're doing, they're just existing. They don't have a fucking problem. You have the fucking problem. Why do you have the problem? Let's look at it. Maybe you think, my children shouldn't be exposed to that. Exposed to two balls of energy in the same kind of spacesuits, wanting to spend time and love each other? Okay, why? Because you were taught that blue spacesuits and red spacesuits were supposed to be together. Not blue and blue, or red and red. Okay, so are you in a blue-red spacesuit relationship? I certainly am. Okay, that's great. So what the fuck is the problem? I shouldn't have to look at it. Then don't fucking look at it. Or how about you just stop caring? Because guess what? All it is, is somebody doing something that you don't like. That just means that they're exercising free will. Just like you could exercise free will. They can't tell you not to do something because they don't like it. Let them do them and you do you. You can't control everything everybody does anyway. You might not like Brussels sprouts, but people are eating Brussels sprouts everywhere. Does that drive you crazy? We should outlaw Brussels sprouts. <laughs> do you see how fucking stupid this sounds? The bottom line is, mind your own goddamn business. Stop spending energy on things you can't control. You don't know how much time you have left. What if you get hit by a bus next week and you spend all that time trying to make people not gay? You could have been living your dream. You could have built a cabin in the woods where no gay people or Brussels sprouts could bother you. So if you're really smart, hit subscribe and share. And don't forget to start talking human talk with other humans that you see in real life. That is if you'd ever get off the internet.